Hey beloved, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to come back and give a prophetic word that the Lord gave me yesterday in church. So this is prophetic word number two. May I ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and click the little button so you can be alerted when new videos come out. And leave me a comment or a message if this word um, connects with you. So the Lord said yesterday in church, he said, um, as the prophetic word began to come out, he said that he was going to begin to change times and seasons. And so I know that in Daniel, we see that the enemy can do that. But in the book of Exodus, the Lord told the children of Israel, this will be a beginning of year to you. The time when they celebrate Passover, that's where it came from. So he started their year over. So God, of course, can shift times and seasons. The enemy has nothing new. He can only do what God said. But I just wanted to lay that foundation. So God said he's going to begin to shift the times and seasons. And he said there are things that the enemy has been doing in the lives of people in the church, uh, in the nation and the nations of the world, his people, that had looked like, it looks like the enemy is winning. But God has said, but God said, I have let him, allowed him to play his hand. I have allowed him to show his hand and to play his hand, but soon you will see that it's like a game of chess. I've been playing with him so that he can play his hand, so that he can reveal what he has, and I will do a checkmate. And I don't even know about chess, but then several people came up to me and texted me and said the Lord had spoken to them in about things going on in their lives using that same um, analogy checkmate is that the right word checkmate and checkers and so he said it's like a game of chess and he's going to do a checkmate and the reason why he's doing it is so that he can get the glory because had he let it go in another way then you might take the glory then we might take the glory but he's going to do it this way he's doing it this way so that we know that it was him not by power nor by might but by his spirit and then um, I heard him say, and what came forth was that he's going to change as he shifts things, powers that are up are going to come down and powers that are down are going to come up on a political arena in, in the nations. He said he's shifting money. So money is going to be shifted times and seasons and different things that it's a, it's a worldwide time of shifting a time that God and he also said it's already been it's already shifted in heaven and he said I have made you aware for I do nothing unless I show my prop my servants the prophets first so I've made you aware so stay alert and you will see that the word have I that I have spoken to you is real I will shift things I will begin to shift them in the nations. I will begin to shift things with my people where the enemy thought he had you, where it looked like you had lost, where it looked like there was nothing else could I, that could be done. I had allowed him to play his hand. He showed his plan and he played his hand, but he has no more power and he has nothing else that he can do. And that's what I was waiting for so that I can do a checkmate. And somebody told me that means game over, that God is about to do game over on the enemy. And it, it reminds me of Pharaoh's army when they came out and they were doing certain things and it was like a game of chess god tells moses to do one thing and then he's still and then pharaoh does something else and it looks like pharaoh is winning and his power is just as big and he can you know his his sorcerers can do some of the same things and then he finally has enough when god kills his firstborn and so we think and then he finally releases them and then the children of israel get to the sea and and pharaoh's army is coming after them because even though he let them go, he got in his mind to go after them. Like, no, we're not going to let them go. Are you kidding me? Even though in, in, the, in, the, in the midst of defeat, he did it for a minute. But then he said no. And he came after them. And God opened up the Red Sea, I believe it was, for the children of Israel. And Pharaoh's army thought he was going to chase them in there. But what happened was God swallowed them up in the sea where he made a wall of water for the children of Israel, but he swallowed them up. That's checkmate. That's game over. And so this is what God 
is saying and it reminds me of one of the psalms and i will link the psalm because i can't remember it i'll also link exodus um where he said this will be a beginning of year, year to you when he did the passover so um the children of Israel have the their civic year, which is in September. That's what we just entered into 5780. But the Passover is also the biblical or their their religious new year, and they celebrate both. And so they still do that. And so I'll put that in there as well. But he also said that um, it reminded me also where he says he looks at the enemy and laughs because he knows his day is coming. Um, once I have heard this, twice have God spoken, power belongs to God. And so, beloved, hold on. Things are shifting. No matter what it looks like in your life, no matter what the nations look like, no matter what things look like, God is shifting things in the earth and they have already been shifted in heaven. And so I just want to give you that word of encouragement. I forgot to give it out yesterday because I was dealing with something that was more personal to people. And although this is personal, this is a word for the nations as well and for the church as a whole that things have shifted that God has changed times and seasons and we are about to see it on God's calendar in heaven it has already happened so God bless you and I hope this helps you be encouraged and as the Lord said stay alert be aware and stay alert in Jesus name amen